All right, we're back once again with another box. So why don't we open it up and see what's inside? Let's get started. Well, as you can tell from the box here and kind of from the title, we have a uh, box from our friends at At Games. And in this box is the Legends Gamer Mini. Now, as a lot of you probably already know, this was on sale. The mini and the full size one were both on sale at GameStop for the price of, I believe, $50 and $100 respectively. Well, $49.99 and $99.99. So, figure we'd give it a shot, see if it was actually worth it at the lower price. Now, I think these retail at, I'll have to look this up, but I think this retails at $79 or $89.00. And the full size one retails at I think 150 or 199. I don't I don't remember. I'll put it in the description below. But uh, what this is is this is a joystick that you can plug into a TV apparently, and it has this one has 100 games built in and I think the full size one has 150. Full size one has player one and player two controls and a trackball. This one just has player one controls, no trackball. Well, why don't we open it up and see what's inside. We'll take a look at it here. It came in this cardboard box. I don't know if there's gonna be and this is how it was shipped. It says on this side, let's just take a look at the box here real quick. It says Legends Gamer Mini. It has the At Games logo there. It has the packing slip there. Nothing on the bottom. There is a information about the carton shipping to GameStop. And get here. I'm not gonna read it, but Just tells you some of the copyrights and things like that. So, all right, now let's see what's inside of this cardboard box. Boy, my knife does not want to cut it. And it's got a new blade in it, too. Oh, I guess there is no inner box, it's just the cardboard box. It's a good solid box, though. You well, if you can see, it's double walled corrugated and has the instruction manual. We'll go through that in a minute. And on top, it looks like you get a USB cable, USB to USB. A very, very, very short, what is that, a one foot HDMI cable? thing. Maybe this is the thing that hooks up to the TV and the controller is wireless. I don't know. We'll find out. And a USB to USB micro with a charging brick. Assuming that's how it gets powered. Lots of this foam and underneath here, is the actual controller. Last 
plastic off of this. And we'll take a look at it. See if I can get that light off of it. I know it's going to be hard. This is a very glossy surface, so light is going to really reflect off of this. I'll do the best I can. Looks like you got your power button up here. A bunch of different buttons. A, B, X, Y. Right and left. Trigger and bumper. Looks like you got two screws down here. And then, for some reason, you got holes up here. It's almost like they designed it wrong. What's even odder is the screw ports here. This must just hold on the overlay or something. I don't know why there's no, because there's no, these screws, they don't line up with the box, is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know. Um, obviously, it's just pressed wood pretty solid though nice clicky joystick doesn't feel too bad buttons are all right not great but definitely not the worst that I've used in there's your hookups on the back you got your power USB and some other kind of control bus. I'm wondering if that's to connect two controllers together. Maybe we should look at the instruction manual. No, it just says control bus. Blah, 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 blah. You can read this on your own time. Let me see if I can get some better light here. Ah, that made it worse. Everything's so shiny. And there's not much there. So, why don't we just go ahead and hook it up to the TV Let's see if we can get this thing to work. Oh, and for those who care about such things. But wait, there's more. And yet even more. I'm breaking an unwritten rule. So we got everything pretty much set up here. It is kind of a pain to get everything kind of synced together, but it ended up working out. So I just have the camera pointed at the TV right now. I don't 
know how well you can see it, but this has got the list of games here. You've got, I'll just go through them real quick. I, I'm not going to read them all off. I think you can pretty much see them all. It's kind of a weird system here. You go five across, two up and down, but then you don't go down. So you go from Aladdin to Boogie Wings, and then you go to the right, and you start with Breaker's Revenge. So it's kind of pages over to the right, so... Burger time. Oh, City Connection, that's a pretty cool arcade game. I think the, a lot of these are Data East and Taito, but I don't know what the actual makeup of it is, but... Fix-It Felix Jr. And you can go on to the arcade net thing and download even more games apparently or play more games but you have to be connected to the internet which i am not currently but i'll see how easy that is and see if we can what you have to go through to get that done but there's some pretty good games on here i mean i don't know what the if the byog is bring your own game or something but we'll find out Magical Drop 3. Operation Wolf. wonder how that would work. Pirate Pete. Got Space Invaders down there. Sly Spy. Space Invaders DX. Super Star Wars. Sir, weird that they would have Super Star Wars, Super Return of the Jedi, Super Empire, but now you have Star Wars Arcade. Got a bunch of Tetris, Jungle Books, some of the, I guess some of the Disney games there because I saw Aladdin earlier. Oh, there's Lion King. So supposedly there's a hundred games on this. Ten pages of ten games, yeah. So why don't we try something out, see what the controls are like. Oh, let's go with the old standby. It's got bad dudes. These, uh... Buttons are a little on the springy side, but A little bit of lag on here, but not too bad. All right, to uh, go out of the games and that, there's a little at games button on here that takes you to the menu. I guess it's their menu button, so you can do insert coins, save slots, quit game, 
advanced configuration, button mapping, display mode, so on and so forth. There's some Yeah. That's kind of neat. You can center it. Stretch it to fit. Fill the entire screen, which, you know, really stretches it out. And then pixel perfect, which is the accurate game mode, which is kind of strange that they wouldn't have the default be pixel perfect, but oh well. Anyway, you can go into quick game. We can go see what else we got here. So far, it seems pretty good. I'm not going to complain about it. I try burger time. That's going to be a hard one to. But I don't know if you can hear the when you hit the buttons. This you can hear the springs rattling in them. This A one is really bad. Anyway. Hang on a second. I suspect this is an eight-way joystick. It seems to like... doesn't want to do the greatest. If you're not dead on with straight up, down, left, right, it doesn't seem to want to react as well. Wait, that I don't know, that's so weird. It's really just that A button. I mean, it works. It does what it says. I mean, the game selection is interesting. Oh, Super Burger Time. The only thing I have a complaint on is this. One of the, this one button is just kind of noisy.
Anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, the only complaint I really have on this thing is that the uh, one button seems to be springy. Maybe on the next video, I'll take this thing apart and see what kind of uh, buttons and everything are inside if I can figure out how to get it apart. I only see two screws on the top, but I don't know. They don't seem to like actually go into anything. So anyway, well, let me know what you think um, on this. Do you think it was worth it? I So far, I think it was pretty good. I think I'll dig into it a little bit more and maybe come back and do another video. We'll tear into it, go a little bit deeper, see if we can find out how to... Uh, uh, connect online and everything and do all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, let, leave comments below if you have any questions on anything you want me to go over with it, or if you have any other uh, systems or clone consoles or anything that you want me to, to review. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.